Good morning, cousins. So I'm gonna try to do a day in the life of being a forensic nursing student. Um, so currently I'm doing my preceptorship. Um, the class that I'm taking is care of the victim. So I had to find a clinical site that deal with victims basically. And I'm with the Jacksonville Sheriff Office and their advocate department, victim advocates. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm not sure. I know I can't record too much of anything at the facility, um, the PMB, which is the Police Memorial Building, because, you know, people, information is sensitive, and I ain't trying to go to jail, because I am working with the police department, girl, I ain't trying to go to jail. Anyway, so I don't know what I can get. I'm just going to try to get little snippets here and there. It's probably going to be a lot of um, muting because, like, if I'm in a meeting or something, I can't record that information. So, come along. I'm going to go ahead and get up. It's 6 o'clock now. I'm getting up a little early just so I can record and probably try to do a TikTok as well. Um, get something to eat. I have to be there at 7.45. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, these are the hardest days because, you know, I work nights. So I've been up really since four o'clock and I try to stay asleep, but that never worked out. But I go to clinicals from 7.45 to two in the afternoon, but I'm gonna see what I can get. So come along. So I got me some pink cocoa mist. What is this? Coconut water and then some cocoa lotion. Also from pink. Just gonna hit my little ankle because you know I be ashy, child. I be ashy. So I have a birthday coming up. Chapter 43 loading. I have absolutely nothing planned. So I wouldn't expect a video from that. All right, got that ankle. I gotta hurry up and fix me something to eat. So that I can go. All right, I'm gonna show you my outfit in a second. All right, so this is what I have on. I just kind of like put my hair to the back, you know, to the side, because I can't stand it in my face. I have on the white shirt, no, I did not iron. And some little capris, I guess, fall color. This is the outfit of the day. You have to dress business casual, and you can't wear short sleeves. Let me flip the camera. All right, y'all, so I'm on my way. To the site. Can you see me? Because it's in between the gear. Child, I don't know. Let me see. Let me back up real quick. Where was the froster at? Why we can't never find the froster when we get in? And Mr. Jimmy parking his truck behind me. Oh my God. He's so aggravating. I can't really see. Okay. Thank goodness for backup mirrors, cameras. Oh, that is right in the middle. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm just have to hold it because okay. All right. So basically, when I get to the um, okay, when I get to the site, I have to park across the street in what they call the grassy green lot because that's where the free parking is. But anyone can park over there from civilians, which I am a civilian, 
and I see some police cars or whatever parking over there and I'm quite sure some detective cars because you know they drive undercover cars so I'm quite sure they'd be parked over there too because the garage is always crowded I don't think I have access to the garage now I do have a little access with my little badge where my badge at um hold on let me find my badge oh Jesus okay so yeah I got me a little badge a little city badge well, best believe it does say civilian big and big on there but it's cool but i do have access i'll be badging in and stuff but um so i'll make that hike across the street to the pmb again that means the police memorial building and then i have to go through the employee door <laughs> and then um the first office that's there by the security office is where i actually work work at but I normally just put my stuff down and then I go meet with my um my lead um preceptor which her name is Marisha I love her to death she's very nice she's very into her preceptor role she want to make sure that I get the best experience possible you know that I can get some clinic clinical expertise on taking care of victims and she's really about her victims and I appreciate everything that she has done for me to make this clinical a success. So I go meet with her and we go to um, this thing that's called roll call. Again, I don't think I can, re I, no, I can't record in roll call. So that's basically where the detectives, they um, collaborate together over the different cases that may have come across their desks the night before and what they're gonna be working on. So we attend the roll call as victim advocates to see if any of those cases may have victims that we can reach out to, to offer services and to let them know of their rights. Okay, then that's like with the um, homicide department, burglary, um, violent crimes, homicide, did I say homicide? Anyway, those type of um, cases. Then we go to a second roll call, which is for um, sexual assault cases. Again, those are like, you know, abuse and neglect of kids. Or it's not sexual assault. It's called something else. But sexual assault cases are in those elder abuse, neglect, things like that. So again, we're looking to see what type of victims that we may be able to reach out to. And then I go to over to the little office where I sit down and I have me a computer. I have my own email address and everything. They make me feel like I'm, I'm part of the team. So we have three other advocates in the office where that, that I sit with. And basically I either sit with them to listen at them um, provide services. I've actually provided a couple of services services to a couple of people. Uh, we go out to on-call visits where we actually have to go to like a victim's home. I haven't been to an actual like crime scene where something has happened and they needed an advocate at the scene at that time. That does happen apparently, but I haven't been fortunate enough to go to an, a live case. Like all the cases that I've dealt with, with is after the fact, which I'm cool with that, but yeah, it would be so cool to go see that so that's basically my day um or if we have meetings or something training they allow me to come to the trainings the detectives are nice and some of them are cute you know they they're used to me now um you know they be talking to me and whatnot and then i tell them that i'm leaving in december i wish i could kind of stay i like this department but i know i got to spread my wings and 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 do other things to get my degree but I really like this as my first clinical site. I really like it. Um, and then we have Buster the dog who's on site. Uh, he's like a golden lab. He's cute. I might can try to get a video of him or something. But yeah, so I'm gonna see what I can record. I don't know if it's gonna be much, but let's see. All right, so this is the building. The main building is over there, but I come in through the back. But it's not really the back, it's kind of like a side entrance. Mm. I 
bet you it look like I'm recording. I better go to jail. it on time I'm just putting my stuff down I'm the only one in here right now now I'll go meet with Marisha here I'm just reviewing some cases for the day And I need to look up the information that I need in order to make my phone calls. I love reading over those cases. Some of them are very interesting. And some are quite sad. Here I'm putting together some victim compensation packages. Okay, this next spot we had to leave to go to a meeting. Um, I tried to do my internship here initially, but they shut me down in all aspects. They were not having it, um, but they did eventually give me the number to JSO Victim Services, and I was able to intern where I'm at now. Um, but essentially, they all work together, you know, collaborating and helping the victim. All right, so this is one of the um, outside um coordinations I guess that we deal with but I ain't gonna take no camera in now had to come back to the office to finish out my hours for the day all right this is Kenya calling with JSO victim services unit and I was yes, is this mr yes ma'am hi I was just calling to see if you received your um your victim advocates um, packet in the mail or voicemail regarding your um, incident that you, um, you know, your hit and run incident? I'm sorry? So I was able to, like I said, I couldn't really record in there, but, um, so I went to a sexual assault, something council. Anyway, so basically they just went over like how many sexual assault cases that they had throughout the year. Cause this is the beginning of their new fiscal year. So they counted from, from October to September of last year and all of those numbers and they broke it down by counties and whatnot. Oh, and then I was able to network with the um, program operator at the um, center where most of the sexual assault kits are done. So she's gonna hook up with me so I can come take a tour of their facility. And then she said she'll let me shadow a nurse cause I explained to her that I've already taken the sexual assault um, you know class and I just need some clinical hours but as far as this internship right now working with the victim she's gonna allow me to um, shadow a nurse to do a sexual assault exam which is cool but then I'm also hoping that puts my foot in the door to um, to get my hours that I need so that I can become a sane nurse so hopefully 
Um, then I came back um, to the PMB, and you know, I called my um, my victim. I did a follow up call. I think you might have heard a snippet of that. Um, and then we had this one detective that come in. He liked to just trip out, you know, trip out with us or whatnot. And he was explaining to us how he had to go chase a victim. I mean, a suspect. He said when he let the suspect go to the bathroom, he had already peeped his shoes. He had on some um, Air Max. And he was like, he going to try to run. He going to try to run. So the next thing you know, I guess after he came out the bathroom or whatnot, he see his partner started running. So he had to go run and catch him. And so I was like, oh. I said, so they, you know, they're that free. He was like, man, he was still in handcuffs. Um, and his arms was like flapping behind him. He, but he was running, but they called him or whatnot. He was, but he said he was a young dude, like in his twenties, maybe early twenties. He said he was kind of fast. So, but I'm like, goodness gracious. He was like, not today. That suspect wasn't trying to go to jail today. But yeah, that was that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my day. So I was able to reach out to some victims. I was able to collaborate with the community. Uh, I was able to collaborate, you know, with the detectives and everything. That's what I basically do. But yeah, so that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.